Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over how to hopefully resolve issues you might have specifically with error code 0xc000f in Windows 10. So it appears that in many cases you're not actually able to boot into Windows 10. So to get around that, the first step we have to actually do is boot our computer to the Windows 10 installation USB or CD-ROM that you might have used to initially install Windows 10. However, there's also a cre media creation tool you can download online, in which I've already made a tutorial earlier in the year about using that tool in order to download and install Windows 10. So basically, you're going to be booting your computer off of the CD-ROM drive. So depending on your computer manufacturer, you're going to try and look up how to boot your computer to a CD. You could also create a USB boot device as well. You don't have to do a CD, especially if your computer does not have a CD-ROM or DVD drive in it, which would make sense if you logically think about it. So, but for me personally, I've already burned to a CD. I've already changed the boot order to boot from the CD or DVD and right now Windows is currently booting into that environment so I'm just wanting to put everybody up to speed because I figure most of you guys would not be able to actually boot into Windows 10 so that is why we're going through this installation media so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the language you wanted to install in as well as time and currency format and keyboard shortcut. Um, just click on next when you're done selecting those changes. Except before you click install now, you're going to instead left click on repair your computer. And then this will launch the advanced options menu. Okay, so now that we're underneath the advanced options menu, we want to select the troubleshoot tile, which will reset your PC or see advanced options. Now underneath Troubleshoot, left click on Advanced Options here. You want to select Command Prompt on the top right here. And just be patient for a moment, it will launch the Command Prompt. You want to select the account that is administrated on your computer. My administrator account happens to be named computer. And I'm going to enter my password. Okay, so now that we are in an elevated command prompt, we're going to type in B O O T rec, boot rec. And then you want to do a space forward slash fix M B R otherwise known as master boot record and then hit enter on your keyboard so we can see the operation completed successfully now what we want to do is type in bcd edit so bcd edit space forward slash export space c colon forward slash bcd backup and then hit enter again again this operation completed successfully now we want to do is type a t t r i b space c colon slash please know this is not a forward slash this is like what normally you would think of with a slash higher at the top and then it goes down to the right so top left to bottom right and then you want to type in boot another one of those slashes bcd space hyphen h another space hyphen r 
and then another space hyphen S and then hit enter on your keyboard again now you want to type in REN space C colon forward slash boot forward slash BCD space BCD dot old and then hit enter on your keyboard again now you want to type boot rec space forward slash rebuild bcd and then hit enter on your keyboard again So now at this point you want to type Y on your keyboard when prompted to add the installation to boot list. So we can see the operation completed successfully. Now we want to type exit and hit enter. And then at this point you can restart your computer or just continue and exit to your version of Windows 10 and you should be good to go. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.